Oh! Oh! Thank you. That's right. I'm on push to talk. Oh my gosh. Jazz to the rescue. Um, I'm on push to talk just because my partner is still working and we're working from home, which means which means she might take a call or something. Who knows? Um, anyway, yeah. So this is Louisville. I'm in the mayor's office. Actually, I'm not. I'm in City Hall near the mayor's office. Outside this door are a bunch of sprinters. I'm just kind of chilling for now. We're on low population, uh, but we're on max population day one, which means maximum low population by the end of this day. Kind of, so I won't get into it. Um, but they're all sprinters, and I haven't played sprinters in forever. Um, can someone do me a favor, confirm that you can hear me at this moment? Because my levels look good. Is my music too loud? I'm gonna recharge here already. I've also finally, for some people, have been asking, I've finally removed the mod that changed the, the Z sounds. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jazz. So, the Zeds should scream loud, uh, less loud than usual today, uh, but I will probably scream louder than usual, so let's see how we do. Okay, I need a weapon, right? But this isn't what today's about. Today's about the devlog, uh, which let me press my handy, super sophisticated button, which should display for us the, uh, there they are, the devlog highlights. Uh, from today because they were there were some neat ones and I was thinking you know I used to do those 60 second dev blogs they you know they're probably my most popular videos to be honest a few hundred thousand views on most of them um, but you know what? I'm gonna take that pen just because I need something emotionally to support me there we go it's not a weapon but it worked oh look at that let me move those menus Maybe like that, and then maybe like that. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, so mods, I think, hmm, did I actually put this in the description? Maybe since we're just getting started, take a little maintenance minute. Let me post the mods into the description here. And once I get that done, I'll post some other stuff. All right, mods, mods, mods. Oh, I did post some of them. All right, but let's post let's post all of them now. Okay, so description is being updated with all of the mods. There we go. Um, so yeah, check out that. Uh, this these two, I kind of got them in here for debugging. Um, nutrition information in the bottom right, critical hit in the bottom right. I'm going to press V to make him disappear. Jazz actually reported a mod. Uh, there it is. There is a problem with this mod. Uh, the nutrition information came back of its own accord. Thank you, Jazz. Confirmed. I'm going to look at that. Um, now, will the rest come back and be normal? Yes. So nutrition info and crit hit info use the same uh, dependent mod to support them. And so this must be a trombo problem because critical hit information is functioning fine. I wrote the co code for both of these. Yes, okay, so for Jay... Uh, for Jay, you're gonna have to wait till I check this little... Okay, staples, nothing I can fight with. Jay, so I'm gonna hit this little button. Here's what we gotta talk about. Um, just off the top of my head while that little text pop-up is scrolling. Uh, the animals thing I thought was super cool. We're finally starting to see a bit of the animal AI. So the deer and such will have kind of predefined uh, roadmaps, kind of, uh, representations on the map for their paths that they can walk during the day. Uh, oh great, there's zombies. So, that's interesting. I think it's maybe highly exploitable if the pathways are always the same. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna sh shake out. But yeah, so they walk the paths and then there's a few set points on the path where they will sleep or stop to eat so you can like track them down, hunt them. Um, so that's, it's cool. I'm worried that it's too static and it's too like, I don't know. We've played a lot of these maps over and over and over, so I feel like it'll lose, I think, the dynamic life that more procedurally generated pathing would produce. But we'll see how it plays. Um, what's the other stuff? Uh, let me press the button again. Uh, clay pots. We saw you can make clay pots soon. Um, that's going to be... Oh, there we go. Uh, that's going to have the three steps I saw to make a clay pot. That's an example of their crafting system. Um, it looks pretty sophisticated. Um, three steps to make a glazed fired pot. That seems all right. Um, I, for one, probably won't use much of the detailed crafting system. Um, I like to just stay vigilant, just keep weapons on hand, and basically do everything I'm not doing now. Uh, but I know some people I play with are going to go crazy for that crafting system. Um, what was the other thing? Larger nets, roadblocks. Yeah, 
Jazz, I think you're, I hope you're right about that. I'm sure they will too. And this is all gonna be very new, right? And they still haven't given us a timeline for an actual release. Why don't they see me? I, oh my God, I've been cheating this whole time. I'm so sorry, there we go. So, there we go. So I should be able to uh, out endurance. Shit, we're not fast enough. Oh, and I forgot to press sprint. Because because I rebinded the sprint to be my, my in-game push to talk. Oh my god. Well, that didn't last long. So let me show you what we're working with actually while we're here. Dev Day Guy, that's what I call them. Uh, these are the debuffs, high thirst, smoker, prone to illness, classics like that. But then we're just trying to buff up uh, axe, fitness, long blunt, strength. So if I can find axe or long blunt, that'll be my damage. Um, but I need to get from point A to point B. Let's go be a trombonaut here. There we go. Hello, Neiman 1960. Oh. For my goal for today, if I can, um, not fast enough apparently. Sprinting normal now. Okay, I'm kind of going in the wrong shop. I'd like to hit, I think, but I'm going away from it. Anyways, quickly gotta press this button. Okay, so I'm gonna watch that text scrolling up the. Screen. The blog. Interesting. So they're talk. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Lasting long enough to get a car! Yeah, too much exhaustion. Lasting long enough to get a car. Anyway, so the engine, uh, the rendering engine, that's something that they talked about that I wasn't expecting to hear. Uh, it sounds like it's going really well, which is good, but they found a problem. There we go. A problem with the way that fog renders and puddles. Apparently fog and puddles still hold their rendering update back. So what am I going to do here? Trauma not sure. Okay, I'm going to think for a minute here. I'm gonna try to play it a little smarter. There is, okay, there's a supply closet upstairs, I believe. One. So yeah, if you have thoughts about stuff, oh, every time you start running. Is it, uh... oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I already checked this. Come in, come in, buddy. Let me have a look at you. Real close. On the ground. Oh no, there's another one! Okay, well, this kind of works. Um, alright, alright, alright. There we go. Close. I'm going to... You know what? I will see if I can quickly change that keybind. So that I'm not double doing stuff. And then my music has died. Let's fix that. There we go. Let's get that shuffle going. Or sorry, the, the looped play. Okay. Okay, now fix the keybind. Sorry about that. Enjoy the tunes as they slowly rub. Okay, okay, I think I'm good. Um, I'm gonna test it. Uh, so let's go out and run and scream and... Oh, now it should be okay. Please, oh my god, please confirm that you can hear me. 
Anyway, so we'll keep going. If you got thoughts about the update, um, like, I really hope that rendering thing drops soon. But if there's anything you want to talk about, or what's the what's the big fancy word? Prognosticate on. Let's uh, let's prognosticate. Let's see what we think. I don't know. Do you think anything's gonna drop? Soon? Like, so three things: crafting, hunting, the graphics update. Um. Eventually gonna fix. Um, I sprint toggle was maybe not fixed. Okay, well I just won't sprint then. Um, I'll just run, and maybe I'll find a weapon in here. Um, okay, so the hunting, the animal stuff. If you haven't already checked it out, oh, I should. I have a link to the dev blog because it's really cool. There's a video of. The animals, uh, like a hunter basically tracking the animals and the animals moving and it shows us how they move virtually on the map uh, along these set checkpoints. Really? Even... Okay, okay, again, you are not too... Hmm. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Oh my god. So yeah, sorry, it's running. It's not sprinting, it's running. Okay, this calls for a hard stop. God mode. I'm gonna look at this properly. That really... Wow. OBS, what's going on? Okay, so new challenge. I can't run? <laughs> uh, let me also just check in-game. I don't think there should be anything going on. Uh, because I would never find this. This is just crazy. New problems every time I turn on the stream. Um, okay, so I'm going to check my level. That's good. Sprint. Wow, so sprinting, sprinting and running kills it. Yeah, okay. That's so weird, because I can't find the sprint key in my OBS hotkeys. So, let me... Oh, this is very exciting. Let me dig again. Actually, you know what? Let me give you something exciting. There's a video you should see. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll send this to you too. Uh, PZ devlog, check that out for the little video that they've got for you. Uh, the Trombospace devlog, that's just for my game. I might talk about that later. Super chats. Whoa! Oh my god, I didn't even realize these were super chats, you guys! Thank you! Oh my god, okay. This is the worst time for me to have this running problem. Let's see if I can't solve this in... I got 4.30 right now, let's see if I can solve it by 4.32. Here I go. You know what, the other thing I could do... One sec. Push to talk. Yeah. Okay, everyone, I'm just going to dump push to talk because it's totally broken. And my partner here, she's signing off work early. I mean, not not really early, but she's signing off. She's still working. She's not working overtime for once. Apply. I'm looking at my screen. It, levels look good. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the test. I'm running, and I still see the levels. Okay. 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 So we're good. Super chat's gonna take over the whole screen. Yes. Stand your ground and fight challenge. Oh my god! Against these sprinters and all that. Um, okay. So here I go. I'm gonna take it off of. Oof, I took it off of God mode. Let's grab some bourbon, red wine. We need a weapon. But actually, what we really need is a car. A weapon is a short-term solution. There are only sprinters in this map. Okay. So, yeah, so I was just thinking, I, I obviously, I enjoy the streaming. I do miss, if you saw it, I missed the uh, Fort Liberty roleplay stream that I had going for a while, but, oh, 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 okay, it's like that. I missed the, uh, the streaming. 
I miss dying publicly. I need to play more sprinters, apparently. Um, I miss dying in public, and I just thought that the dev blogs would be a great excuse to get some people together, chat about it. Um, you know what, just as a little, um... You know what, let's be Frank Hemingway. There he is. Oh, Frank Hemingway in his underwear, apparently. Okay, more aerodynamic. He's gonna run faster. Uh, pay to win screen block. <laughs> okay, tell you what, let's do a quick vote in the chat. Not official, but you just tell me, yay or nay, should I turn off the chat display? Or do you like it on screen? So, keep it or scrap it. You tell me. Keep it, scrap it. Comments. I was not looking where I'm going. Let's go, Naked Frank, man. Oh, they fell down. Nice. Uh, there's a fence over here we're going to try to use. Frank! Frank! God darn it! Okay, good. Look at that man sprint. Look at that naked man run. Okay, and I'm not using the vaulting sprinters mod today, which is great, because I would not last long. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, man in his underwear. Coming through. Coming through, everybody. Kicked. Nice, yes. Oh! <laughs> um, zombie fan, can you remind me... Wait, or so when you say... Oh! Okay, I think that looks actually... That's actually looking pretty good. So I will kill that. Boom. It's gone, but thank you so much for the super chats. Um, I can still see you for a, <laughs> for a small price. Oh, you know what? I gotta turn it on just so you can see that. Uh, uh, uh... Where did I go? Ah, there it is. For a small price, you can block the entire screen visibility. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, so I need to get really smart and maybe focus up a bit here. Um, I would like you to tell me what you're excited about for just all the stuff that's been going on with these updates. I think there's been more meat on the last few. Um, the last few dev vlogs, sorry. Um, I really hope we start to see this stuff drip in this year. They're not saying anything yet, right? They haven't even committed to 2023 for any of this stuff. Um, but gosh, wouldn't that be nice? Um, especially with the... Oh my god! Okay, someone remind me, I think Pipe Wrench is short blunt, right? Which means it's not super helpful to me right now. But it's better than what I had, which was nothing. A smaller one in the corners. Yeah, Jazz, I think you're totally right on that. Um, I'm going to... Rather than, because I spent so much time on setup with you with you all today, thank you for sticking here. Um, but I will save it for next time. I I had a smaller one, and then the, the chat itself was just kind of too small, and I couldn't get the wrapping right, so I gotta put more time on the chat. More meat on the last few dev blogs. Oh, that's why I can't read and play! Okay, sprint! Sprint, damn you! Almost like they added animals to eat. Oh my god, I am so full of puns. But I didn't even know it, but you're right. There's a pun in there, and that's a perfect. So, and I wonder too, if you there, so we saw bucks and does and fawns, right? So, with the, oh man, we're already exhausted. Sprinting is so bad. Um, so, removal is hard, guys. Everyone, peoples. Um, let's see if I can't pull off a win here. Um, okay, we're already too slow. We're already too slow. Get up. Will that buy me enough time? I don't know, I don't think so. Okay, please be unlocked, let's go. No, okay, we just lost time, that's okay. There's more doors, there's not really more doors. Uh, do we see keys? We don't see keys. Oh, but we might have a little moment here. Go, go man. Sit, okay. The Zeds will interact with the animals. They haven't talked about that, that would be so cool. Oh my God, rat farm, yes. That's how I want to interact with the animals. I want to farm rats. Um, but I'm curious to see, too, if, like, uh, if the... Okay, wait, are they all coming? Yes, they are. I want to... Oh, look at this guy's new route! New route all running! Alright, and that's our cue. Okay, so, hopefully, we're good for a moment. Just want to check some trunks. Maybe see if I can't scrounge up some weps. Um, there's a mod I'm using that I actually don't think I told you. Let me know if you spot what it is. It's very visible right now. In fact, that's a clue. Very visible. Um, but anyways, so if you kill a buck versus kill a doe, is that going to have a different effect on the animal populations? So that's what I want to know right now after seeing today's, uh, little stuff. Oh my god! I was not expecting that to work! Hallelujah! Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. Um, one zombie, I don't think, will actually break down a door. But there's more than one out there, of course. Okay, let's see. There's not really going to be any weapons in here, are there? But... 
We'll take some we'll take some some candy. Oh, scissors. I can use those. Um, scissors will be great. Excuse me, because sometimes just stunning uh, sprinters is necessary when you're fighting a lot of them. Obviously, I'll keep the uh, pipe wrench for a kill when I need it. But the scissors will be handy. Um, we need water. Shoot. So, yeah, Zeds and animals. That's actually going to be like a huge lore-defining thing, right? Because in some lore, zombie lores, the, uh, the Zeds don't care for non-human animals, right? Uh, it doesn't even register for them. Um, but then if you think of something like, um, what is it, 28 Days Later, uh, I guess spoiler, kind of, if you haven't seen it, but the uh, the crow at the end, right? Dripping, carrying blood. The crow itself wasn't affected, um, but the crow had been feeding on the dead. And so the blood that dripped from its beak into somebody's eye ever so perfectly, uh, that ended up infecting them. So I think there's all sorts of Zed interactions that could be, happen with, uh, like, be happening, whether it's direct, like Zed's chasing animals, or... Uh, there we go. Zed's chasing animals, or... Wait. Uh, what do I want? I want to sit on the ground and rest. So that's the one-two combo. Kill your exhaustion. Look, it's already gone. Um, but yeah, I just... I want to know so much more about animals. Um, and the clay pots things. Can we get, like, a brief survey in the comments? Like, it's kind of controversial, right? Some people don't want what they're bringing into the game. And I think there's a weird balance that... Like, previously, I think they've said that everything that they're doing with this huge crafting and new professions and stuff and, you know, rebuilding society, there's a lot of skills in that, and I think they've said they're not going to lock that to any one particular build, right? Like, everyone can do everything if you grind enough, I think is the understanding. Um, but, like, are you going to use that? Do you want to rebuild society? Um, do you want to play on a multiplayer server? If you did, what do you think your role would be? Like for me, I think I don't think I would change how I play that much. I would probably just do what I do now and just kind of protect those around me while they do all the what I call the boring work. Um, can't let my partner hear that because she does all the cooking a lot when we play. Sorry, love. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want to stand around and hit things a lot of the time. And on solo play, I don't go crazy on base building, partly because the horde migration just doesn't uh, doesn't really uh, what's the word doesn't threaten me all that much. Um, but now animals would be really interesting to see if they do affect horde migration. You know, if a if the zombies are interested in the deer, for example, and if the uh, you know I'll take more scissors. Sure, they're like they're just my knives right now. Um, if the Zombies chase the deer, and the deer have a set pattern. Does that mean that the deer are going to be kind of running around the map, drawing Zeds into that location? So if the Zeds chase the deer, that's one thing that could happen, is it's not just the animal AI that's changing, um, but it's the... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's going to change how the zombies behave, too. Uh, all right, let's go. We're at, we're at it again. Wish us luck. I'm going to sprint. Oh, God, good thing I did. Okay, I'm going to hop this fence. I'm going to regret it, because there's going to be a horde on the other side, but let's try. Nice! Okay, we're actually not too bad. Animals FPS killer. Okay, that's that's actually really interesting because you're right, they're definitely going to have a cost. Um, but I think the rendering gains are going to be huge. Like even in this game that I'm making right now, like my graphics performance is my number one concern because it's like so much of our, so many of our cycles just go into making stuff look good. So the fact that they claim to be making huge gains on rendering, I think think it's gonna like AI are easy to optimize um, like you, you don't need them to update all the time uh, oh my god I closed my game there we go you don't need them to update all the time so you can control costs like that by saying oh you know if the deer isn't on screen that's only updated every 30 seconds or something a uh, little stuff like that okay wait let's see how many how many are coming here is it just the one so that's not so bad oh they broke out of the other house okay we're not even in trouble yet uh, let's drink. Oh, okay, there's a friendly neighbor. Oh, ho, ho, goodbye. Um, I will take the peanut butter, because as you probably know, peanut butter is great. Still need a car, though. Um, super heavy for servers. Yes, it'll definitely be heavier for servers. Um, but again, now that they are making all these changes to how... Like, they're trying to move everything to be server-side, which means there's going to be, hopefully, less back and forth between clients and servers, and everything more of just the server saying, here's how it is. So it's one message instead of, like, you know, client tells server, tells client, 
It's just the server tells the client, done. So hopefully a little less cross traffic. So I think they're making gains that will cover any any additional costs that are coming up. That's, but you know, I don't, I don't know all that much about the rendering side of Zomboid or rendering in general. Um, so don't quote me on too much. It says, hey, some idiot on the internet said everything's gonna be fine. I really hope it is. MPRP give people defenders. Yeah, you know what? Jazz has got a point. I think, uh, I think the role play potential, yeah, is gonna increase like a thousand fold with all the uh, world building, uh, what do we call it? Rebuilding civilization and that greater level of specialization hopefully will add a lot to the role play. A friend of mine has bad PC, plays MP, but can't fight there. Oh, it's not a 10 FPS if three or more are around. Oh, wow, that sounds so brutal. Um, I have a, okay, I have a friend who has that experience sometimes. Um, where are the cars, people? Where, where, Louisville, where do you keep your cars? Anyway, uh, let's just take this guy because there's only one. So, friend, who when he plays on Wi-Fi, he has that problem. But when he's wired, it's fine. So for him, it was a, uh, a network, like a connection issue. Oh, sorry, Davy Gamer Official. Um, we're just talking about the, the dev blog update today. Uh, there's, I didn't put a version on it because they haven't released any new version numbers. Um, oh! Here she comes. So, whoa, we're just, what was the word? We're prognosticating today. I'm trying to figure out what's going to, I'll figure out. Try to guess, try to chat about what's coming. I'm gonna do these probably every Friday, day after the debug, so we have time to check them out, read them if you want, uh, get your updates here if you haven't read it yet. And it just gives me another excuse to stream. Two more buttons under the cheat button. Yeah, so, oh wait, cheat button. Which one's the cheat button? Yeah, I got debug mode, so I'm not using any of it right now, I'll show you. No cheats are active. Um, but this is client and this is just uh, PvP. Zomboid is idiotic. If you have any, if you have any packet loss, it'll kick you out. I had no idea. Wow. I'm suddenly really impressed. Oh, what am I doing? I am suddenly really impressed that I don't get kicked out more often. Okay, okay. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know what that means, uh, when your computer is talking to someone else's computer, it sends a little batch of messages because they can't be too big um so it sends a batch of messages and if not all of those messages get through then apparently the game doesn't know what to do with you and it kicks you out that's brutal and yeah now i i wonder uh, if i think we want to test things but i don't know networking scares me um my own game i'm using like third party networking api standard stuff that other people can tinker with for me okay that's too much attention well, let's get out of here. There are no keys, and I didn't take Burglar. Oh god, what's a good jumping point here? Okay, that one we can fight. So I'm gonna leap this. We got exhaustion, that's not too bad. Pushing is free as long as you connect. Little cost on the kill there, but it was an overkill, so that's not too costly. I want this to come down, please. Oh, oh no, she spotted me. She already spotted me. S GT730. I uh, I think you'd be fine, and um, that's another thing. After the update, when the graphics update hits, especially, you will have no problem at all. Uh, because again, whoa, whoa, the rendering is what's killing us. Um, speaking of killing us, I don't want to die. I want to live. So, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Did you see? Oh no! Oh no! Did you see what happened there? Sprinters are hard. Yeah, that's why I'm not really fighting them. I've got a... Uh, uh, who do we want to be this time? You know what? Let's be uh, Gandalf the Grey. I have a build called Gandalf the Grey, which is just this guy in his underwear, because I'm not using any clothing mods. Um, that's actually something I should mention too. I am using two mods that make the zombies harder. Um, one of them is called Undying Zeds, so there's a chance, I've set a chance that uh, these guys will get back up shortly after dying. And then another one is another mod of mine called Unstoppable Zeds, and in that one, uh, it basically removes it. It nerfs significantly nerfs nerfs the uh, critical chance that you get against zombies, and it uh, what's the other stuff? It reduces the knockback of all of your weapons, which I guess is why sprinters are really hard right now. You know what? We can take one guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, what would a specific? 
portable. Nice look like the Steam Deck. That works terrible. Oh man, that's a hell of a question. Uh I don't know. I like you said. Like even the Steam Deck, which is basically as close to purpose-made as you can get for running PC games on mo on a mobile device. Oh, I've died here before. This was a terrible decision. All oh, and I walked into a wall that I didn't see. All right, that's a lot. That's oh, I gotta rethink here. Hmm. So what if I? Okay, this guy, this guy. I'm gonna go a different way uh, than I did because I should be using my deaths to my advantage, right? Every time. What's this? Survival model. Morgan Moody. I don't remember half these characters. Um, knockback. Yeah, knockback adds to your chance to basically... I think it increases your stun time, uh, knockback time on them, and it also the chance to knock them over. But if you get a critical hit, that's automatic. So that's why that mod nerfs critical hits, because that's also a big part of your knockdown factor. Um, I don't actually notice a huge... Like, critical hits are really what makes them fall over. But uh, there is technically a knockdown value. It doesn't do... It doesn't do enough that I would worry about it. What you should worry about is critical hits, because with damage and knockdown, that's where you want to be. Um, and actually, knockdown is uh, knockdown is also your overall damage contributes to it. Actually, I need your shoes. Apparently, I don't have any shoes. So the more damage you do, the more likely you are to knock them down. Which is funny because like a critical hit is going to do more damage, but also it automatically knocks them down. So it's just everything really points to critical hits. Yeah, thank you, Protex. I got I got there. Uh, oh, but you know what? This guy's got sneakers. I actually want the sneakers. Because... Oh, are these sneakers? No, they're shoes. I want sneakers because that gives me a little speed buff. 10%, I think. Um, so what I'll do is make sure I'm crouching. And I'll do the little whisper. So crouch and shout. That's whisper. And... Well, bam! Sneakers! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Speed shoes, let's go! Alright, alright! Oh no, but I was still crouching! Stop crouching, you idiot! Run! Run, Morgan Moody! Okay. Okay. That's a lot of zeds. We're just gonna keep going. We're bleeding. Oh! Every time. I'm gonna let him die. Because I just learned a valuable lesson. The last three deaths, I have been sprinting into a wall. Speed modifier for clothes don't work. Are you sure about that? I know the combat speed uh, modifier does, because I tested that one. So if you wear like a long coat or something, uh, your combat speed is down. And I feel, maybe it's placebo effect, but I feel like my sneakers have been making me faster. Oh, Wilfredo! Oh my god, Wilfredo is an old, old tutorial character that I did. Like a year old now. Uh, for a tutorial series, walkthrough series on this channel. Um... Now, what, what am I wearing? We got the sneakers. Let's just... Here, let's do a little test. Let's do it right now. Can we get a light switch in here? City Hall. They're classy like that. We got lights. All right. So, with sneakers. One. Two. Ah, oh, I had to move. This is this is not how I do my testing, by the way. But I'm just going to time how long this is. Let's try it. And go! Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, almost exactly seven. We're gonna go back to the end. No shoes this time. This is Project Zomboid Science right here. Yeah, that would be a good one to test with. And here we go. And one. Four. Shit. <laughs> Out of your count. Uh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, it's the exact same. It feels the exact same. Pertex. Every time Pertex talks, uh, we got, uh, Pertex is also a part of the Trombo Space Discord server. Uh, there's a link, maybe a link in the description for you to join us too. Um, but every time Pertex speaks, I learn something. Uh, and a lot of people in this channel, you're all so, sorry, in that server, you are all so well informed on Zomboid. And obviously I do a lot of tests and stuff, but like, I still don't think of myself as well informed. Um, because I just become more aware of how much I don't know. It's like a curse. The more you know about Zomboid, the less you realize... Wait, the more you realize you don't... I don't even know how to express it. I'm just going to stop right there. Okay, so I'm making a little bit of headway in this park. Uh, this is like a multi-character strategy. I have to pick up where the last one left off, or, if it was really bad, stay away from where the last character left off. So, 
I should see if we run into my old guy somewhere. I should probably stay away from that building. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll head north. Northeast is probably going to be the quieter part of town. And I'll try to take a few of them that come at me. Uh, okay, 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 okay. No, nope, you stay down. Thank you. Now I got multi-hit. Oh, come on. Oh, I needed to get the, the kick in and it wouldn't let me. Come on. That's what I needed. Oh, how did I miss? Okay. Wilfredo's going to die. Wonder if it'll get, if I'll get mo- Oh, Jazz, you're totally welcome to do it. Uh, disabled instead of not working because it was too confusing. Oh, interesting. The ball and chain moodle, right. That's neat that they would get rid of it for that reason. I had no idea. Can I make the jump? Oh, yes we can. Rest easy, Wilfredo. Remember, you do recover endurance while walking. Mm. As long as you don't have any exhaustion moodle up. I think if once you're at level 2 exhaustion, maybe 3, that's when your penalty, regen uh, regeneration penalty, is so severe that you're not actually healing as you walk. So right now I'm recovering endurance. That's great. Um, that one lost us. No, oh, these ones did not, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Wilfredo. Okay, okay. There's another one. That's great. That's what we needed. More friends for the little campfire. Um... I'm looking for keys. I don't see any keys. We are just gonna keep dying in Louisville until we get some frickin' keys going. There's a key! Okay, okay. I gotta get this key, and then I gotta get out. Okay, I got it. I'm very, very slow, because I've just... I've just went from zero to two levels of exhaustion? Or was I already at one level and I just didn't notice? Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna add... I need a buff here, right? So I'm gonna buff myself. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. This time, I get a katana. Because, holy god, do I need it. Let's be Jackie J. Oh, okay, Jackie J in her underwear. Sorry, lady. Um, simply don't see myself playing with sprint sprinters. Yeah. Um, still so slow that it's better to sit for a few seconds. Fast stand. Yeah, let's, let's actually demo the fast stand. So if you haven't seen that, you can sit down, stand up, right? That's normal speed, quite slow. Or sit down, hold run, and then get up very fast. So yeah, that's probably what we'll have to do. Um, give me a fighting chance, because apparently I am too out of touch with sprinters. Jackie J, sporting a katana. Let's see how she does. Spam loot all instead of weird. Yeah. At this, like, pace with the sprinters, I should probably do that right now. Katana! Drum lessons doesn't approve. Katana! Katana, or sorry, drum lessons. I, you tell me what, what's a, what, what's the word? What's a little handicap, or the opposite? What's the opposite of a handicap? Uh, what's a little boon that I could give myself that you would approve of? And you are, you are welcome to say no boons if you're a bit of a masochist or a sadist, I guess, inflicting pain on me instead of yourself. Busy, no work. Uh, yeah, the mod coding is cool, and it's all in, you know, Lua and Java if you look in the internal stuff. So it's it's pretty approachable as well. And most of my programming uh, experience is like in C language, like C and C sharp mostly. So it's it's uh, it was really weird for me to wrap my hand, head around at first. That's why I was like, oh, there's some stuff I can do in like Unity or Unreal, and it takes me like no time at all. And then I look at Zomboid stuff and like, hang on, what what's going on? Um, Unity and Unreal, I guess I should say, just, they're uh, game development engines that I've been playing around with self-taught programming stuff. But yeah, the, ja the Zomboid stuff would have been easier for me to learn if I didn't already know the other stuff I knew, I think. Because um, there's a few little things I took for granted, and it actually screwed up some of my testing, because I wrote some simulation stuff. Whoa! Oh, total miss swing. She's so slow with that. That's what I get for having zero long blade. Still no alternative suggest. Oh, am I gonna just like still die? There's a lot now. Probably more than I want to fight with a katana. I will stand and fight somewhere. Maybe in here. Maybe not in there because there's zombies. Let's go. Come get some. Okay. You mentioned the chainsaw spawning, but existing. Oh, I've never actually tried to spawn the chainsaw. I don't think it has, like, uh, an image associated with it. I don't know what it would look like in the game. I don't know if it has animations. 
Um, man, the katana is good, but you know, this is the only one. I'm not going to give myself more than one. This is just so I can give you a little bit more to see than five steps out of City Hall. Um, okay, okay. What do we got? Uh, we got a fence, so let's let's do the fence. Is this? Oh, it's only a short fence. Well, okay, we're gonna. We're, I feel like the endurance is about to come by. All right. Oh, multi hit! God, I'm not used to playing with multi hit. <laughs> That's satisfying. Uh, this chainsaw of vanilla. It didn't work or acted as an axe. Let's do it. Debug item list. Clear name. Chain saw. It's a crowbar in appearance. Uh, let's check its stats real quick. Edit item. Uh, condition 15. 1.6, It doesn't look great to my eyes. What does it look like here? Oh my god! It's a freaking chainsaw, you guys! What is that animation? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I want to fight with this now. Okay, let's 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 see what we can do. Let's mess up some Zeds with this. Like looking at those damage stats, this is not a good weapon right now. But uh, let's let's see what it does to this guy. Come on, buddy. I'm even gonna let him stand up. So it's a fair fight. Fair fight. Come on. No one's gonna back attack me. Oh my God, is that slow? Oh, did you see that? Did you see that weird blood splatter? Let's see if we can replicate that. Yo, get over here. Jackie J here with some Project Zomboid Science. Come get some. Okay. So thank you for complying. So when that one was really close, this dead guy, when he was really close, the upswing did damage and like it continued. I don't even know how that one killed. How did... Uh, okay, there doesn't seem to be a ground attack option with this, which is interesting. Murder Bunny, best serial killer adjacent ideas. Yeah, I guess I guess Murder Bunny would be the one to come up with this, eh? That's crazy. Um, okay, water, little thing. Yeah, I feel Perdex. I I think you're onto something. Like I I don't remember this at all. Um, I've seen the 3D model on the wiki, but I didn't know it was like being deployed in game. That it had actually been implemented. I thought it was just in the files. So I thought I've tried to spawn one like a long time ago at this point. But um, I'm glad I did it today. Look at that! I don't even know what she did, but they're dead. It seems to be doing more damage than I think it should be. So I wonder if it's multi-attacking. Look at that! What the hell is going on? This is so cool. It doesn't have an, a like a sound, uh, an animation. Sorry. Uh, an audio file to accompany that animation right now, but it's still satisfying. Um, let's, yeah, come on in. You know, there's lots of fun to... Okay, yeah, there's no... Shoot. Still no ground attack, which I wanted to test. So I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm smashing the button. You can see her stance has changed. What does it say? Porter? On the side? So there's no ground attack on the chainsaw. That's pretty debilitating, I think. If you're like me and you forget, and then you try it, and then there's nothing. Wait, wait, wait! Whoa! Now I can't even do it. There we go. Okay, for a moment I couldn't do the normal attack. There does just there does seem to be something in the uh, in the zombies response animation though. Like, watch this. See that extra that weird blood splatter? I don't know if I've seen anything like it. Oh! 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 Jackie Chay, let's go! Oh, I keep running into walls, you guys! Close the door. That's right. Good job. Alright, let's rip this shirt. We might find something better later, but for now we'll do what we can with what we got. Um, this is a cool mod. Um, it's called Mini Health Panel, I believe, and it lets you target wounds. Oh. For, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Almost removed it. Didn't want to do that. Um, we're still bleeding. Uh, I don't want to check this bathroom, though. Oh, and that one's not working. There we go. Alright, get in, Jackie. Uh, okay, you know what? You, that, that's your house. You can have it. 
I'll take this one. Oh, and it opens. Okay, so let's find a bathroom. Or we can just take these, I guess. You know what? I'll be optimistic. Thank you, Jazz. Sorry that it's not also uh, taking over the screen there. I will get that fixed in the future. Let's eat something. How is our health? I guess, oh, and it shows my health right there. It's fine. My heart moodle right now, though. Look at that thing go. Wow. Okay, so we're eating. We're looking for a bandage. Um, is this? Yes. And they don't... What kind of a person doesn't have band-aids in the medicine cabinet? Come on. Let's get some... Some, you know, we need some. I feel bad for Jackie because, okay, so Jackie J, if you don't know, this is a character um, in the game. Uh, LBMW Radio is where you can find her by voice, and eventually you can find her as a zombie in the game as well if you know where to look. Um, she spawns normally in a bright yellow tracksuit, same as, uh, or what do you call that? Bodysuit? No, I don't know. It's all yellow. It's bright yellow. She's hard to miss. Um, there we go. Be better, Jackie. There you go. Chainsaw wasn't in there. Neiman, all right. Thanks for joining in. Catch you hopefully next time. Two weeks. I do hope to be doing one of these every two weeks uh, with those dev vlogs. So, yeah, as soon as possible, right? So, let's see if I can get some pants. So, yeah, Jackie, I feel bad because she is like a really cool character. She's modeled after uh, April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, uh,. I'm making, I've got my radio series going where I do voiceovers for her and stuff. I've got like voice modulators and a lot of post-processing uh, that make me kind of sound closer to uh, Jackie's gender, but wow! our expectations of what she should sound like. Nice. This, an this attack animation terrifies me because I can't really tell when like the threat, like when the, the damage output begins. It's just kind of a, and you hope for the best. Um, Oh, don't close the Jackie. No, don't close the Jackie. Good lord. Go in. Okay, so... The challenge. I think I can think about the challenge again, because things are going pretty well. Um, so we've got a... Extra hunger, extra thirst on this character. Um, but that's okay, because the long-term survival is not the goal. I wanted to see if I can get to Louisville today. And I started this an hour ago. Or nearly. And we talked about the blog update, dev blog update, we talked about uh, my terrible settings setup, but I made very little progress on what I actually need to do here. Yeah, I think there's one attack where maybe I missed or I shoved and thought I didn't shove. I, I'm not totally convinced that it's an insta-kill yet, but actually, let's check something here. So chainsaw, you can see a bit. So it's got zero aiming time, zero recoil delay. Okay, oh, because it's not a gun, so it wouldn't have those. Um, the damage, like this is so weird, the damage doesn't make sense. 0.6 to 1.1 should not be one hitting every time. So there must be some chainsaw code specific to the chainsaw that either lets it output damage like, m like continuously, uh, like you might expect, or if it is just a, you know, if player hits with chainsaw, kill zombie, it could be one of those. It's like if player crits with knife, do jaw stab. That's part of the code. Uh, okay, let's just... Oh! Okay. There. Uh, it is a little tough with the... I haven't got the timing down yet, so you can probably see. Oh, and... Oh, no! Oh, they're on the ground! That's... They're a, they're dodging my chainsaw! Did you see that? They were dodging my chainsaw. Progress was the friends we bug fixed along the way. <laughs> yes. That's actually, like, my favorite part of streaming is I do something and then people are like, actually, did you know that you could do this? Or did you know that this is actually how that works? And I'm like, I had no idea. Oh, oh, Jackie, go, Jackie, no. That's too many. That's too many, Jackie. No. I can't, I can't do anything. This is like one of those times in the game when you just got to stand there and watch. God damn. I thought four Zeds. So this animation is so slow. I was just not sure about it at all. Um, I should have just stood my ground and fought, but I did not. Boromir of Gondor. Okay, we'll be Boromir now. Chainsaw code specific to the chainsaw. Yes. Actually, uh, my next deep dive video is probably going to be about um, every step of damage calculation. Um, so my last video was every step of critical hit calculation. 
and it'll probably be people die when they are killed. Yes, I'm Traumanaut. I make deep dives. I say helpful things like people die when they are killed. This is what I do. Um, okay, come on, come on. And this is just low population too, right? Like this is sprinters, but it's low po. Hey, excuse me. I'm trying to do a stream here, but I need you to die so I can focus. So I'm not going to take those sneakers since the speed boost is useless. Thank you, Pertex. Um, but yeah, every step of damage calculation, I want to check and see if there is a chainsaw doodad in there somewhere. See, that's me again with technical, helpful terms. Chainsaw doodad. Why am I taking damage? Why do I have foot damage right now? What happened? Are my shoes no good? Boromir of Gondor has fine shoes. Wait. Boromir of Gondor has <laughs> socks. He's got no shoes. That's okay. Silly things happen when you usually play with a clothing mod. You design characters that use the clothing mod, and then you take that mod away. And that's how you end up with the naked Boromir. Uh, you know what? I don't want you to wreck my nice windows. Oh, I missed! Oh, that's okay. She missed too. You know, you can just stay right there. And you can get down. See, if I could get a little headway on some of this clearing business, um, then I could maybe start to get some keys and stuff happening. I don't think this building is actually of any use. Sorry, I'm actually scratched. I guess I should deal with that. So something you should never do in real life is take a bloody rag off of a zombie and then wrap it around your runes. But this is Project Zomboid, and although it tries to be like real life, it is not transmitting infection via clothing just yet. I do hope they do that one day. I wonder if we'd be able to make bandages out of animal hide. I just had a really messed up thought that I'll share with you, because why not? So, what if you skin an animal, you've got the hides and stuff, maybe you haven't like tanned them yet, right, so they're not dry. But imagine if like with a tanned hide, if you can fashion some sort of bandage up, up with that, and imagine if they let you do that before you had like properly dealt with the hide. Like, just a bloody animal skin to dress your wounds. I don't know why that thought crossed my uh, crossed my mind. That is not part of their dev blog yesterday. That's a trauma not original, and I hope it never sees the light of day. Socks equals shoes minus Gondor. Oh my god. That's my kind of math. Am I a smoker? I think I did take smoker. So, let's just take that. Uh, service room? No. Even better. Oh, it's just cigarettes. Am I in the smoke shop? I thought this was a grocery store. Where am I? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's take some candy, eat these chips, why not? Take the pop, actually, because I keep needing water. So actually, I'll take the soda bottle so I can fill it back up. Pop, though, fun little thing I noticed. Pop is the best um, hydration to weight ratio product in the game, I believe. Including water bottle. Like, outside of mods, obviously. Um, no! Boromir of Gondor, you push too slow. You rotate too slow. The code does technically exist for things to have hidden statuses like poison berries and mushrooms. Yeah. Hidden values for that. Yeah, it seems like it's already kind of... It wouldn't take much. Um, I do wonder how they manage... Like, because there's so many little things. It's like, oh, that would only take a second to, you know, change the code on that. But there's so many little things that they could change. I wonder where they draw the line between, like, we're not going to change that right now. We're going to focus on, you know, the milestones that we're aiming for. Um, that would just be so hard for me. Like, even... Oh, oh, there's a key there. Boromir, you can't... Boromir, I was literally just going to say you can't die! I found a key! Oh, my God! Come on, Boromir! Maybe... Okay, I'm going to change the build. Let's just do full sprint. Let's just do everything we can to max sprinting, because apparently that's all that matters. So what, uh, we'll take that, we'll take, uh, so we got nutritionist, uh, sorry, fitness instructor. Um, we're gonna take, um, let's take Graceful, sure, to make a little less noise. Runner, actually, so I know Inconspicuous is kind of broken. Is Graceful broken? I don't actually remember if Fretinaru did a video on that as well, how that's looking. We'll take more fit, um, I do like stout, and that's it. You know what, if I can get by on that, that's just fine. I'll take, uh, slow healer, high thirst, let's, yeah, that, that, that. 
I still need points. Uh, that. Okay. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, good. Now, who shall we be this time? Treebeard. This is Treebeard. Okay. And in case you can't tell, I did like a Lord of the Rings challenge with some friends. That's where I got Boromir and I guess Treebeard here. Usually it's you know, severity levels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Jazz's comment there, everyone, is just something that I, s I struggle with in my mind. As I'm making my own stuff, I kind of get too into the uh, nitty gritty of what I'm working on. Um, you know what? No, that's not that's not going to help. Now, I just remembered all the zombies are to that bottom left. So I'm going to go right um, and kind of northeast again. Graceful is amazing for sure. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I, and I think I remember Retinari mentioning that in his uh, shouldering video, the, the Z bumping video. All right. All right. Can you imagine if this truck was like fixed up and ready to go and I've just been neglecting it this whole time? That would be maddening, but luckily that's not the case. Well, luckily, unluckily, I guess it would still be better than what I'm doing now. Um, is this the art gallery? No. Oh. In my head, I'm like, oh, I should look for the pawn shop, but I think the pawn shop is in the direction that all the zombies are in. Do you die now? Oh! Okay. So, I guess, like, I need a weapon. They're gonna have a utility room in here somewhere. I don't actually know this building. Um, because it looks really boring. And I have not... Oh, okay. So we're now just alerted a bunch of Zeds to our position. Oh, I have been in here! I've stolen these paintings before. Okay, okay, okay. I don't remember it, but I've been in it. Um... Uh, okay... So this music that's playing right now, we were kind of joking earlier in the Discord server. Um, gonna take that, good. Um, and yeah, again, maybe would someone, yeah, if you if you want jazz, feel free to share that link in here. I, I don't mind at all for one. Um, I meant to share it in the description, but I forget if I did. And we've had so many little pauses. I don't want to pause now. But in the server, we're talking about the music on my, uh, my deep dives and stuff, the tracks. Um, they've had a lot of comments about people being like, oh, where do I get this music? I just want to like jam out to these horns um, But like I make all the music. It's not like 100% original. It's kind of like a mixing program that I have, but uh, Music that we're listening to now. You know what? Gotta read Herbalist. Sure. Uh, in case you... <laughs> that was lightning fast, right? Well, I'll read another one. Let's read uh, Electronics. Boom! I've got a 1000 times multiplier on reading just because I know no one wants to just log in a Zomboid. Sorry, log in log sign into YouTube open a stream and watch somebody read books for a couple hours yeah so jazz this is Louisville and it is in the record an account it's like the uh, record attorney record clerk something something about records something like very dry very paperwork very no one's gonna play a zombie game and visit the clerk's record keeping hall Um, oh, okay, there's a Survivor Z down there, and it's not too busy in here, so as long as it's stay- Naruto, Naruto, I'm over here. Naruto, okay. There we go. Um, they keep coming from that one room, how many are in there? I don't really want to, uh... Nice, okay. I'm gonna read, read that. Comment. There we go. Discord is in the description. Awesome. Just usually you can also have chatbots for commands like. Oh, nice. Yeah, chatbots. I am not familiar with the chats. Chatbot stuff at all. Um, I really should be. Um, hello. You're a really dumb Zed. Oh, unless you're just a decoy for this guy. Okay, this is the one I wanted. Oh, I thought she was wearing a camo shirt. This is not as exciting as I'd hoped. But, we'll take it. Oh, letter opener. That's not in terrible condition. It's better than my scissors, I suppose. It's good, good. Clip on back. Alright, so we got something happening. What are these rooms? What are these, like, tables? So, these are just tables surrounded by glass? What are they putting here? 
What is this building? Is this building not what it claims to be? <gasps> is it a super boring building facade that masks a secret government operation? Per Dex, 2 a.m. That, oh, oh, they reanimated. Okay, that's what I was talking about before. Per Dex, good night. Thank you for the wisdoms, many wisdoms. Talk to you later. Oh yeah, so Jazz, this is what it was. County clerk and records. As boring as I remembered. All right, so we got some scissors. We got a duffel bag. We're gonna focus on take, oh, focus on timing and uh, taking the fights that come my way. And hopefully, nice. Hopefully this will work better. A little less running. Come on, scissors. There we go. Poorly designed display cases for awards and other stuff. Yeah, like, I guess so. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I've ever been to a county clerk and records uh, branch before. So I don't really know what they keep there. But those tables are very empty for the time being. Okay, she's got a fix on me. So let her come in. Let's see if I can knock her down. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Wow, that was close. No, I want you dead, please. There we go. So, don't need the broken scissors. We're, again, without weapons. Like, we got one pair of scissors. That's not going to take us far. Two Zed's coming in hot. Okay. Slow and steady here. Until there's a mob of them. I am assuming... I'm assuming that eventually there's going to be too many of them for me to handle. But right now I've got this, like, cautious optimism that if I just kill them low and slow, eventually I'll get my big break. Just one little car, a little gas, a little bit with, like, a keys line beside it. Oh, I should have taken Burglar. Nope, I wanted the sprinting. That's what it was. Okay, so I guess got to stay away from the building, I think, because... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going northeast. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I am slower now. Can I make one of them fall? Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's push off. We can still do this. Health is good. Yes. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh, Wilfredo! This is a bad day, my friend. One, two. One then the other, just to keep them both on the ground. They're getting faster. I am so slow. Wilfredo's dead. Wilfredo's straight up gonna die, everybody. Uh... Oh! What a finishing blow! He did so much damage to me! Can I pull up? No, I can't even pull up my health. So, that was crazy! What did he bite? I bled out, like, immediately. You die at the military checkpoint trying to drive out. Yeah, I do feel that's how it's gonna go, you know? Um, now, what was I saying? Burglar! Okay, let's try to optimize for getting the heck out of here now. Um, still gonna need that running. Still gonna need that fitness. Um, athletic, stout, stout, there we go. Um, now can I pay for this? Uh, take that, take that, you, you, you. How am I doing? Six points? Uh, well, take disorganized because I don't actually need, um, oh, did I take smoker? I didn't. I would rather take smoker. Let's get rid of disorganized. And for two points, let's take the good old short-sighted. Uh, let's save this. Sure, burglar done. And who shall we be today? Let's try Noble Lincoln. Oh, that's not Noble Lincoln. This is... Who's Noble Lincoln? I don't remember this guy at all. Maybe it was just one of those things where I was pressing random and I found the name. And I was like, this guy's name is awesome! And then I saved him. Had bled out before his final attack. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I was... I wonder, I don't actually know how often that mini health panel in the bottom left, I don't know how often it updates. So it could be too that my health was lower than I thought it was. Okay, oh my god! Ah, my heart just broke a little bit. Um, the, uh, the sub count in the bottom left has gone down since starting this stream. That's okay, people find out what they like, what they don't like. I respect, I respect that. Expect their choice to hate me. Okay, get down. Thank you. That guy should have died. Oh, a noble Lincoln doesn't have shoes, does he? No, he's just got socks. Okay, if we can get back into this building. There we go. Oh, there it is. The restricted movement Moodle. Ha. 
Okay, I think I can shake off a few of them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, I hit the wall, you guys! Oh, I hit the wall. When did I get so bad at this game? Frick, I gotta play sprinters more. Oh, they got my neck. Okay, but luckily, like, pain is gonna slow me down. Pain is gonna reduce my damage, but, uh... You know, leg damage and hand damage is what I really want to avoid. So in that respect, things could be worse. Things could be worse. This is a bathroom, not the place to go with open wounds. Fourth disagreement with a wall. Yeah. Same speed as everything else. Okay. Good, good, good. So this then I guess is pretty accurate to real time. Uh, real time stats. And let's not go through the broken glass. Let's go this way. I do need to find a corpse for some shoes. So if you see a corpse, point it out. And yeah, I keep sprinting because sprinters, but you know, obviously in the regular game, I never sprint. It's so not worth it because there's no reason for it. You can outwalk the Zeds. Um, so I'm not used to navigating with a sprinter, but your turn speed is slower and your, uh, what's the thing? Turn speed is slower and you, yeah, if you bump anything, you crack your head and fall over. You don't crack your head, you don't die. You're okay, but it's not good, man. All right, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, one thing that, like, this is just affirming for me is so this game I'm making is like a horror action puzzle kind of game. Oh my god, here we go again. But I got shoes this time. Oh no! Guys! Guys, why do I do this? This is just me questioning everything in my life that brought me to this moment where I got killed by a wall for the fifth time. Holy hell! I'm not making it out of here. I'm just not. So you know what? Let's cheese it. Let's just, let's go back to the first build. You're gonna hate me. And if you do, like, I apologize. You know, this isn't actually what I want. I want the... You're gonna hate me for what I'm about to do. I'm going back to the first build I played. Traumanaut. There we go. And here's what I'm doing with it. Uh, I'm just gonna go outside. I'm gonna use the old debug mode. I'm gonna fire up a car. And fire up a car because you deserve better. You deserve to see the world. And I want to show you the world. But I can't do it like this. So, uh, if you haven't used debug mode before, it's great. Uh, fire up the game with uh, this little tilled debug. Oh, I can't actually see because of that. Whoop. There we go. Uh, what is it? Uh, tilled debug. So put that into your launch, uh, launch settings. When you go right click on Steam, go to properties, go to something in there, eventually it'll give you launch parameters. Put debug in the parameters, then you can right click in the game, hit spawn vehicle, uh, and just get some random vehicle. I'll just take this, sure. Didn't even look at it, didn't want to look at it. And now I can get a key, boom. Uh, let's see if it has any gas. Also hashtag called it, oh my god. I see a future corpse, does that count? Oh my god. Zero gas, ah, okay. This is a challenge I can handle. I think. Okay, let's leave the key here. Key in the glove box. No, you know what? Better yet, key in the dash. Oh, key's in the ignition. Uh, why is the engine light red? I thought the engine looked fine. Is it not fine? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. the engine... Okay, I think it's just, just the gas. Anyway, so the game I'm making, uh, it's like a action and puzzle thing to it. So it's like haunted house survival, right? But then there's like Zomboid with the sprinters is insane. It's such a different vibe than regular slow zombies even if you play that way. Like the actual the slow shamblers rather than fast shamblers. So I was thinking just this week, I was like, oh, I should just probably start thinking for my game. Implement a version, like a mode that doesn't really have monsters in it. Um, because maybe some people just want to, you know, do the puzzles on their own time. And get, you know, walk through the little haunted house with some scares and all that, but no real danger. I was thinking, nah, that's not, that's not gonna be fun. But you know what? I think it's necessary. Sometimes it's nice on Zomboid to just like, even just put on fast shamblers, give them all sorts of debuffs, or sorry, all sorts of buffs on the mods. But like, just, just chill in your little forest with, you know, every now and then a scary zombie happens upon you. But overall, it's, it's still a very valid experience. It's just a different experience. So, something I'll put in my game. Uh, I did drop the dev blog for my game in 
the comments as well. Oh my god. Um, I set myself to Zomboid's devlog schedule because... Whoops. Because I need a schedule, and if I can tie it to something out of, outside my control, such as somebody else's schedule, I know I'll hold to it better. Alright. Okay, so... Wait. I got shoes. Okay, so what do I gotta do? I gotta find some gas. If I'm gonna find gas, I need bottles, right? Or a gas tank would be nice. Atmospheric horrors are my jam. Jump scares and being actively hunted usually end up goofy or boring once you get to know the AI. Yeah, in the game I'm making, the AI... Uh, I'm not really gonna say too much until the free demo is out so you can, like, get all the surprises. But the AI is gonna be highly variable because I have the exact same comment of horror games are... Like, even Phasmophobia, right? Like... It's great that they keep adding all these like new ghosts and stuff in this ghost hunting game because they had like I think eight ghosts for the longest time. It just wasn't really enough. Whoa, do I want to be here? I'm gonna reg I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna instant regret. Get out. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. It's going good. I'm gonna switch over to sh uh, shift running because I don't want to. Oh god, that's not enough though. It's not enough. Can we get into Gigamart? No, we don't want to get into Gigamart. Holy hell! That was some Zeds, people. Okay, try the wall, Trombo. Try the wall. Sit on the ground. Instant sit. Oh, he's not going to sit? Whatever. Okay, they're still on me. But we are recovering endurance right now. A little bit. Oh, okay. There they are. Oh, no. Oh, what? You know what it is? When I'm switching my keys from shift to sprint... That, there's like a brief pause, and that is what kills me. That and walls. Ugh. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna play the same old song. Wait, this is a different song. This is the burglar. I want the dev day guy. I think it'll be my mainstay on these days. Um, sure, pants. Oh, you know what? Do we have a silly one in here? I just need something light. Oh, the president. Nice. So, on my Zomboid radio series, I have, like, the little thumbnails with the, uh, the characters on the cover. This is my rendition of the President. I couldn't actually find the President in the game files yet. Um... Oh, well, how are we doing? I would like some shoes before this guy's on me. I just got socks again. There we go. So, what do you think of my President? What do you think of this guy? I... Personally, wish that with the skins, I wish we could make them look older. I don't know if it really sells them with having his nice, youthful skin. Talk about Rain World and Sushi. Yeah, Rain World, totally. Um, Rain World is like such a crazy game. If you haven't played it, everyone. I haven't played it actually. I've just watched gameplay videos and I've watched the. There's a lot of videos about it because it's really unique. Um, like everything's procedurally generated. And like the thing that, get, that blows my mind is even the animation of the procedurally generated creatures is procedurally generated and so it's just this like atmospheric ecosystem um, very dark very moody very cool um, I probably whoa that would actually be a fun like if I buy it that might be a fun thing to kind of stream for the first playthrough because I'm sure there'd be just so many moments of awe like total shock um, that would be really fun to share with people all right the president has pants Everyone, this just in. The president has pants. Maison de boeuf. Let's find us some boeuf. Please just be one zombie. Please just be one zombie. Please just be no zombies. Please just be no zombies. I'm going to break into the kitchen. Hello! Kitchen staff coming out to meet me. Uh, she's... She's got, pla <laughs> she's got places to be. Uh, great. Don't let me stop you, lady. Ah, awesome. Can I get a water bottle here? No. No, of course not. Creatures mostly similar with variations in color and stuff. Oh, are they? Okay. I might have misunderstood something then. Uh, or misinterpreted uh, something I was seeing. Oh, you can't even let me finish my peach, lady. Can a guy eat his peach in private? You know what? Load. I'm just going to drop that eating peaches talk right there. Okay. There we go. Get over this fence. You know you want to. Get under my boot. You know I. You know you wanna. You know I wanna. I guess that still works. Oh no! You wanna across this fence, little dove. Here you go. 
Over here, nice and easy. So gentle. AI yeah, like that is why I disagree with jump scares, yeah. Yeah. I love a good atmosphere and Zomboid, even without zombies, accomplishes that so well. And that's actually another really cool thing, their music update that's coming. Um, as the music gets smarter and smarter with kind of reading the scene uh, with what's happening and just setting the mood, I really want to see all the new work with that. Because I don't, I, I know we had like an update a while ago, but I don't think the full release on that is out. I think it's a build 42 thing as well. Running past the player is goofy. I do kind of love it though. Like those little, those, so it's like when you, ex when you know what to expect, it makes the unexpected so much cooler. So even if that was a bug where she ran right past me, should have stopped for a snack, you know, she ran right past me. And that was awesome because it wasn't expected at all. So I think it's just the moment where we kind of recaptured that, uh, that almost that feeling of playing for the first time, right? It's like, oh, me, whoa, didn't door flash, didn't door flash, my bad. Oh, I didn't door flash. There's two zombies. Door closed, door closed, stay closed, please. Okay, now we flash, push, close, smash. So, progress update. Um, advanced audio options. Oh my god, what were advanced audio options? I don't remember those. I know we've got this legacy or official settings right now, and that changes the music. One is like the static tracks, one of them is the tracks that kind of try to read the scene. Um, what was advanced audio though? What am I doing? There's no gas in here. What am I? I need gas. You got gas, buddy? It's the wrong kind of gas. Not interested. Oh, it's a legal firm. Okay. God, I love being strong. So good with the knockback. Um, so I have a 55% knockback ch chance, I think. Do I have maximum? Do I have time to check? I pressed the wrong button. Okay, a minus. I'm missing two points. So I have a 51% chance to knock down on a shove, I think. So that's still pretty good. Let's grab some water. 40 are able to change every single sound effect individually, including all sirens. Oh, I remember that. I remember adjusting house alarms to be quieter, I think. Yeah, wild. That's like, yeah, that's awesome. I want that too. Why did they take that away? It seems like such a, I guess if they're bringing in new stuff, it's tough to remember to connect it to the, you know, the right audio channels, I guess, but that's really cool. Um, what's this? There's like a special room back here. Do we have, we don't have a screwdriver. We don't have freaking anything. Sound update for 41, remove that. You can't make specifics. Many used to keep the game audio quiet while using features. Ah, yeah, it's too bad. They must, they must have plans to bring that back eventually. It's one of those things though, it's like, when is this game gonna be done? I'm not saying I want them to finish it. I'm just like purely hypothetical question. When is this game gonna be done? Like 42 is gonna dump so much stuff in it. Uh, after 42, what was it? Uh, what's 43? I've, I'm just forgetting the timeline all of a sudden. Uh, so there's animal hunting. There's the crafting, there's the AI. Is that it? Is that the full development timeline? Like, all the milestones? Because if so, maybe it'll be done within five years. I feel like they want it to be done within five years. I'm sure they're all done with it. Um, oh, issue with dynamic music. Yeah, that could be. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, devs have been, this game is almost 10 years old, right? I think came out in 2000, was it 2014? Was the very first, I think it's when, like, when the playable demo came out, that really old one with the alien heads. Uh, oh, stay down. Yes, you're better that way. Uh, law services, how's the street looking? It's pretty quiet. Okay, we're getting into some hot freaking territory though. Shoot, I might actually try to go behind this building. Yeah, come on, bud. Oh, no, I said, come on, bud. That worked. I kind of thought I was going to die. I don't know why. Bad feeling. Anyway. Um, 
I think they're probably sick and tired of this game that they have been making for almost 10 years. And in five years, that'll be 15 years. And I'm sure they're really freaking proud of it, but I also wonder if they're starting to get a little tired. Uh, 42 is expanded crafting and balance. 43 is NPC. Okay, cool. NPC stage one, 43. I love it. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I was... Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Door flash on bathrooms! Everybody, don't forget! Hold! I didn't... Oh, I missed the door on the clothes! Oh! Lee Jesus! We're back. Okay. Ah, oh. let's eat this peach. I need a peach after a moment like that. We got, we got incoming. There we go. Forty-five is stage two. Forty-seven is NPC final. So I wonder if they have secret plans after NPC final, or if that's it. Zomboid is done. What a world! I don't know if I want to live in that world where like Project Zomboid is done. Watching for the Thursdoids and like playing this game and like always finding new stuff because they're putting new stuff in it. That's been like a huge part of my life since uni. Like that would be wild. I just think there's a point at which a person could say, I know everything there is to know about Zomboid because it's finished and nothing more will come of it. 48 might be the end of development. That's crazy. I just haven't had this thought before that one day Zomboid's updates will end. Okay, so I'm going to try to get behind here because I'm sure there's a parking lot back there. I am just nervous. Oh, we got lots of doors. Lots of ways to control traffic. Oh, that music was a very sudden stop. I forget, can you hear the music? Or you just got total silence going on right now? Nothing. What's in here? You know what? Even now, I'm not door flashing. I really should be. Okay, I got orange soda. I'm going to drink all of it. I'm going to go out there and see if I can siphon gas from that van. I do know where there is a working van, right? Uh, there's... Oh, God. Where's the working van, everyone? I think it's here. Can I mark? I don't have a pen. I can probably... This... Pencil, probably. So let me just mark where I think I want to go. I think that is the working van. So I got an empty bottle now. We got one Z. We'll do some crouching. Come up here. We got no gas. So I press V. There is no siphon gas option, even though... Oh, shoot. That might be because I didn't finish my drink. <laughs> Come on, Mr. President. Oh, this is still the president. I thought the president died. The president is killing it. Now, of course, I've cursed him by saying that. Oh, and we can siphon gas on you guys. Is this it? Posted in 2022 update. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I, haven't... I should look back at that sometime. Okay, someone is angry. Oh, here's the mod I didn't tell you about. I forgot to put it in the description. Um, it's called More Zoom Levels and 360 Vision. So watching some of my streams, it's like, man, things are dark. Very dark all the time. Um, why can't I? Okay, I'll do that. Nice. Oh, that was just changing. Oh, God, again with the turnaround time. Frick. Oh yeah, here they go. Now more are gonna come because they hear the noise on the other side of the fence, I am sure. Okay, well let's just take what we came for, then I'll deal with the wound. I'll actually go back into this little building. Is this, yeah, this is still good. Yeah, I don't think, Jazz, I don't think they have you know, us, given us an updated version yet, but um, we'll see. See that? See that, everyone? I am learning. I am door flashing now. I don't want to die. I want this the president to be the one. The one to make it all the way. Okay, it's a dirty bandage, but screw it. I think dirty bandages are still bugged. There's no penalty for having dirty bandage. Last I remembered. I'm not sure about the pain might be more severe. I was looking at pain because pain affects uh, damage that you deal. Um, and there's a lot there in pain that I didn't know. Um, I wonder if dirty bandages are a part of that. Well, if it is a part of that, you'll hear about it in my next video. Okay, so let's see if we can get back to the van. I got two little bottles of gas. It's not great, but it's enough to get to a gas station. Um, it's also enough to round up a hell of a lot of sprinters and die, but yeah. 
Flashing is encouraged. Yes, and that's why you see so many people running around naked. Makes for easier flashing. One less step, you know? Easy access flashing. What am I talking about? <laughs> My mind. She is broken. Okay. It's quiet. There's one zombie there at the uh, the window, but I'm just going to leave them be, and they're going to leave me. And it's the bank. I don't remember the bank, guys. There's zombies up here. I'm scared. Should I go through this building? No, I should not go through this building. Oh my god. Oh no, what did I do? How did I get here? Okay, you I can fight. What? Oh, no, I pressed the wrong freaking, what? The what? Ah. Uh, I am such an amateur today, I love it. My heart is pounding, who needs exercise? Just play Project Zomboid, get your cardio. Your heart will burst out of your chest. Oh no, this is so wrong. This is a new way. I am losing this. I know it. I'm just going to get exhausted. And that's it. I can maybe try to lose them in this car. Watch this. If I can get to the car. Oh, the car doesn't open. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, how are we doing? Okay, 90 minutes in. 90 minutes and I haven't left Louisville. It is but a scratch. Yes. Okay, I am starting to feel the emotional toll that this whole experience is taking on me right now. So, so, let's do this. Let's have this be the last run. I don't know how far it's going to go. I hope it's going to go really far. But I think it's the last run for today, until the next stream in two weeks' time. Sam Winchester, okay, if you watch Supernatural, Sam here has got the reputation that I need to get me through what is to come. Now, just to check, Sam does have shoes. Okay, that's great. A little bit of confidence juice, and we're set. Okay, we got one Zed, we can fight her. Build a little confidence. Be like, yeah, you can do this, Sam. You got this. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. Piece of cakey. Uh, just to check where we are. So I died. I actually, was I? Was I over here when I died? No, I don't know. Um, I have a feeling. What's up here? Was I, did I actually die pretty close to the spot? I'm wondering because that body has gas. If I can somehow get that body. The body I want. Just gotta join the right fitness program. That's how you win, Zomboid. No, if I can get the body I want, I'm gonna get some gas. And that's all I need to get out of this godforsaken town. Hmm. Okay, not where I thought it was. But let's see what happens. Survive the next five, you know what, okay. It's 545, challenge, uh, challenge accepted jazz. I will try not to die for five minutes, which saying that out loud sounds a little ridiculous, but we'll see. See, this car doesn't look so bad. Maybe this is the kind of car, oh. I haven't been here, okay. Well, whatever, there's a lot of Zeds. Stay low, Sam, and if they come for you, at least I know the building behind me is pretty accessible. I should probably be able to get in and close the door or something. Alright, it's got head armor. So he does have a little protection on those head stomps, but not enough to matter. Head stomps are OP. Which is good. It's a lot of work to get there. Um, okay. Press Z. Press 1 to get into the driver's seat. Oh, I don't want to exit. Uh, let's go to the back seat now. Press number 4. That car doesn't help me. Um, I could, I suppose, quickly check if it has any gas. Nope! You know what? 
suddenly I don't think it's that important. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. And it's only one. So one adoring fan I can handle. Boom. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So where, what is this? What are you? Is that, are you where I died? No, that looks like unexplored map area. Okay. What time is it? Oh, I've survived two minutes, two minutes down, three minutes to go, baby. Uh, I don't think I can do it. But that's my inside voice talking. I know I can do it. That's my public confidence on display. Oh, she went around the pillar just so I wouldn't see her coming. That is so sneaky. I don't care if it was a bug. That was hella cool. Talk about zombie intelligence. If they actively try to avoid your line of sight. Ugh. Terrifying. As if zomboid zombies sprinters weren't enough already. Okay, I think I have been in here. Let's go upstairs. I don't think I went upstairs last time. Uh, which means maybe there's some weapons. Sam has made it this far without weapons, actually. That's pretty good. Gotta hand it to those Winchester brothers. They know how to handle themselves in an apocalypse. Oh, There's not even a door here. Lovely. Well, maybe I'll just make myself at home for another two minutes. Survive the little challenge. Oh, eat pie. I would just sit around and eat pie. Guys, there's three... Three pies in here. Where am I? These people got taste. These people crave flavor. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize pie takes so long to eat. I will not eat that last piece of pie. I'll just take it. There we go. And let's see. Oh, the music that's playing right now. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like so sad. This is the music that played in my role play game when some people died. Oh, what an experience that was. I was sad to kill that server, um, but there are just too many mods to keep up with. We were using, it was like 96 mods or something, and there was one, I think like, there's a mod that so many mods depend on. It's called SARS Auto, no, SARS Common Lib Library, and tons of mods are built off of that library. And it didn't break publicly, but there was a problem, and you'll see it in the comments from a few people, where you had to like your game was stuck on an old version and wasn't updating properly but i didn't figure out the fix of just manually removing it like i uninstalled it but i didn't go in and delete the file that i needed to delete so for the longest time i just couldn't fix so many of these mods and it got to a breaking point where i was like i'm calling it quits because i'm tired of dealing with this making the good people wait for uh for their zomboid action just watching me finagle with server stuff so anyways it was very sad Next time you can do it with the Silent Hill Zombies mod. Hold up. Which one is that? I don't know if I've seen that mod before. What does it do? Like, what are we talking? Silent Hill Zombie mod. Oh my god. This is Sam's... Okay, it's not his first weapon, we have scissors. But this is his first weapon that matters, and it's a crowbar. And we do have, uh, what? We have no long blunt? Oh, that's right, I made him just good at running and stuff. Shoot. Well, we can, oh, oh, right, this is where we are. Well, we'll just, we'll just kind of, don't mind me, everybody. We're just, just sneaking on through, please. Is it? Okay, I made, oh, Oh my god, Jazz, I was literally just looking at the clock, and I was like... Oh no, the reanimation mod! Oh shoot! Wow, hey, she reanimated as a walker. That's a bug in my mod, I have to look at that. Um, okay, Jazz, I was like, hell yeah, I made it six minutes, what? And then you're like, the bar has been raised, ten minutes, and you just crush me, but I'll do it! Because I got faith in Sam here. Now, I'm not going to just lock myself in these safe spaces, I, I promise. I'm trying to play smart. Here, I'll go with the back window. I'll make some noise to do it, too. Oh, the jittery zombies. Yes. I have played with them. Um, I think that's just an animation mod, right? If I'm thinking of the right one. Does it change any behavior? Uh, okay. 
You know what? Let's go somewhere new. Uh, psh, I'm never going to find that corpse. I don't know why I'm hopeful. I'm playing Project Zomboid. There's no room for hope. There's no need for it. Also, good lord. I love the Super Chats. This is the most Super Chats I've ever gotten. Ever. And Jazz, obviously, you've been a big part of that. So thank you so much. I just... It doesn't even register to me. I'm like, oh, look at that big, colorful box. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's hella nice. Very kind of you. Now, where am I? Ooh. I don't know this building. I get excited. I don't... Like, Louisville, I tend to just base up. And then, for obvious reasons, I don't uh, go exploring too much. No, stay, stay turned around. Yeah, I want... Shoot, they're both up many. I wanted to... Oh, that's right! Multi-hit, mother suckers! Okay. There we go. Oh, not used to that at all. Anyways, I get excited in Louisville when I find buildings I haven't been in because it's like the rest of the map. You know, Muldrow, for example, I know in the, like the back of my hand. Um, and finding new stuff is fun in this game. I think that's like what really hooked me on the game originally is that the map was like... Obviously, it's stable. Like, it's not... There's no randomness to it right, right now. But finding new stuff still felt really cool. Oh, come on down. And so it kind of lost that charm, you know? Even though it was freaking huge, it lost that charm. And that's where map mods come into play. But I honestly haven't played with many map mods before. Well, the fact that they screwed with your attack range is... Oh! Okay. I'm, I think I'm thinking of... Uh, I'm thinking of the Afraid of Monsters mod, actually. Yeah, I have not used the Silent Hill mod. I should look for that, because if it screws with your attack ranges, like, phew, that sounds A, horrifying, and B, beautiful, uh, because I love those kind of mods that will, like, make individual zombies more deadly, and, you know, a lot of, a lot of weapons, once you get the uh, attack range down, and you're always hitting at the end of your range, that maximum attack range, you do really good damage, and stuff just dies really easy, so, moving their position, if it alters attack range, hella cool. Hello, lethal. Oh my god, it feels so good to kill zombies in this game. Like, in this particular run with the sprinters, because I've just been... I've probably died, you know, close to how many zombies I've killed across all these characters. If I've killed 20 zombies, I've probably died 10 times. I don't know if it's quite that bad, but it has not felt good. Jitter, you couldn't hit them easy. Cool. I want some zombie jitter. Yeah, I love undying zeds, unstoppable zeds, random zeds. Uh, on a single player game, I love the uh, sun sensitive zeds, mix up their behavior in the day. Uh, the rain, uh, fear the rain zeds, where they all run inside when it's raining. So, like, they run inside when the sun is shining, they run inside when it's raining. Also, the restless zeds mod, because then they're always moving around when it's, you know, they're not stuck inside. Why is this room so dark? What? Look at that! I don't know if I've ever seen this darkness in Zomboid before. That's cool. Oh! We didn't talk about this because it's old news, but the Zomboid lighting update. I'm so excited for that. Um, because this, like, true darkness that I just experienced is going to be a lot more common. And uh, flashlights, you know, more valuable. When I'm in this room, you know, the whole room is kind of evenly lit. Um, and that's because, yeah, all the tiles, I think, have their own lighting value. And it's just like a, an on or off kind of thing. It's, it's got some granularity to it, but it's like, you know, they, the tiles basically share the same lighting as the room that they're in. Whereas, um, in the update, if I had a lamp on that desk there, uh, the lamp would radiate light across the tiles. And uh, after the rendering update, uh, these chairs, I believe, will be able to block light. So, like, we'll have realistic lighting. Um, as realistic as it can be in a sprite-based, you know, isometric game with some... 3D elements to it. It's gonna be really cool, just take my word for it. Flashlights are actually going to work in mo- Hang on! Jess, are you- have you been having problem with flashlights in multiplayer? I've, like, mostly only been playing multiplayer on a- what is the word? Locally hosted co-op. Or, or sorry, I'm the, I'm the host. Hosted co-op. Um, no dedicated server. And flashlights have been okay. Um, I have had an issue actually that, like, it's just coming back to me. Uh, just the other day, 
uh, headlights were out of sync. So my headlights were on, but someone thought they were off. And when I flipped it, you know, it flipped for them. So we didn't, we couldn't get the headlights to line up. Um, that's never happened to me before, but I wonder, is it something like that that you're... Is that what you've seen with flashlights in general, maybe? Holy hell, I did 10 minutes with Sam. 10 minutes with Sam. It's got a weird sexual undertone to it. I don't know why. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on. Yes, get down. Get back. And beautiful. Whoa, doesn't work for other people. That's crazy, Jazz. I'm sorry you're having that problem. I haven't seen that. Um, with the glow sticks, I wonder if it's a problem with the mod somehow. Because uh, I th believe the glow sticks would be from a mod. Um, Lunar, can't wait to run through fire. Oh my god, right? I think, yeah, we've talked about this in my Discord server. Like, I don't, I'm not super knowledgeable about it, but fire in multiplayer especially sucks, right? So firefighter gear is going to be invaluable once it gives us that actual fire resistance. Okay, I'm back at the really boring County Clerk and Records building. So I'm actually going to start going north again. And I guess as what I should be doing is as I go, I need to keep track of what buildings I've been in. So I know which buildings I can quickly fall back to. Because I cannot just keep running and running and running the way I have been. Um, okay, so that's locked. It's a zombie. Hello, goodbye, get out of my way. Thank you, very cooperative. I'm gonna see if I can get in here just to, yeah, establish like a bit of a fallback. It's very dark. It's very dark. Okay, there's a light switch. I don't think there's anyone here. Probably would have heard him by now. We're good. Empty room. Okay. Hello. Mr. Zombies. Okay, that light is on. Oh, I guess. I guess I've been in here. It must have been during the day. Everything looks so different at night. You know, it is like real life. People figured out, yeah, multiplayer makes fire damage worse. It's calculated differently in multiplayer. Oh, I'm back in the, the records office. Well, that explains that. What the? Jesus. I never door flash. And I really need to. I'm way too confident on that. You know, fast shamblers is less than an issue. You just open the door and you just don't go in, right? You don't have to door flash, you just open it and stand there. And if there's zombies, then you hit them. But on sprinters, oh my god, they move fast, right? So by the time you've opened the door, they're already in your face about it. Okay, Sam grinding up some long blunt. Uh, I don't think I have any XP modifiers on, so that sucks. But, oh, are we, nope, nope, not where I thought. Oh, is this the big park? Oh, it's a different park, Oh. Breaking new ground, finally. Okay, Sam, I think, has survived uh, 15 minutes. Longest running character. And I probably just cursed him with that statement, but we'll see. We will see. Oh my god, Jess! Jess, my, what's the word? What's that stress hormone? Cortisol, my cortisol levels are spiking. But the dopamine levels as well rise <laughs> with those super chats. So much reward, but so much stress. I must keep going <laughs> to resolve my complex emotions right now. Um, cars. Okay, I'll fight over some cars, especially with these fences around. Now, if I can not draw too many, I should actually be able to clear this space with the aid of these fences and do a proper look at the cars here. I'm just going to double, triple check. Yes, these are high fences. Very good for my purposes right now with sprinters. Because when I get tired, and I will, I need to get to the end of a high fence and jump it so that I have time to recover before all the Zeds can rush over at me. And obviously with a low fence and they just jump over it, that is not enough time. Is this one walking? No, there we go. Yeah, you can't even run straight or you can't even walk, let alone run. Falling all over the place. Here we go. But yeah, flashing is overrated. Just to come back to that. I do think it's like really helpful for players. I don't even want to say overstressed. I think we're just stressed because we're a smoker. That's fine. Um, what? 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 Oh! 
How did I miss? I just, I just missed that. I just completely misclicked, and now I've got wounds on my arms. God damn it, Sam! Don't die yet. Jump. Check your wounds. Oh, you're bleeding so fast. Oh, he's bleeding so fast, and we're so slow. Uh, we are going to jump this right now. Rip our socks. Rip our socks, Sam. Is what I said. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna get in this car just to get some extra time. Oh, we're dead. Because I didn't get the neck laceration. No! Oh my god. Okay, you know what? That was the best run. Seven hours game time is the best run. I'm a sad Trump, but not. Anyways, the, uh, I think that's a good, well, you know what? No, there's a super chat as the last message in the chat. I can't end with us with a super chat right there. What are we going to do? Let's just make a totally random character. Burger flipper. Sure. Let's just spam some options. Take that. Take that. I don't know what we're walking in on. I'm just clicking stuff. Let's see where it goes. Oh god, what did I just take? Weak. Oh my good lord. Okay, well, if I take wheat, weak, I'm definitely going to take athletic. Let's dial it in here. Uh, just to make sure I have a chance. Sunday driver cuz we're not driving anyways. Totally random. Just going to spam this. Let's see what we get. Panic makes you out of breath. It will help you a lot. Oh, what? What? That's that's atrocious. Okay, I'm gonna press this 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. We are Patrick Bowman. Here we go. So, random character. Yes, I pressed the random button 20 times. Uh, sometimes when I like don't press it enough, I get like attached to the random characters that I see. I'm not, well, yeah, I'm not even gonna look at what attributes I have. I know I'm weak. Um, other than that, I have no idea. Okay, so this is, this is the, oh, she got back up. Let's put her back down. What, she's flipping around. Lady, just, just, what? <laughs> what is this? Do you see that? Look, she just pops. Oh my God, that was something else. I, she was reanimated by my mod. I blame my mod for that little flippy floppy. Um, but yeah, so the random button, I get attached to the people I see. So to make it truly random, I spam the random button such that I don't actually look at who I'm selecting until I've already hit the select button, nearly. Ooh, this guy's got- oh my god. Is this- No, that's not one of mine, right? No. That guy just reminds me of Sam, but I don't think it's Sam. Hello. Oh, no, he's got a mustache. I don't think I've played anyone with a mustache. Oh my god, yes! Shoot! If I was recording, wait, I'm recording this. It's a live stream. I should set up a demonetized video of you spin me right round, zombie right round, with that little clip from a moment ago. <laughs> that was insane. Uh, okay. God. Oh, I didn't take note of the time this player entered the server. This character entered the world, but I should have, because I want to see if he lasts longer than Sam. Okay, okay, Patrick not doing too bad, but Patrick with a huge debuff on strength, Patrick is not very good with a shove crit chance. Um, base chance is, wait, his base shove chance is 35 right now? That's, do we have zero strength? We have, z we have zero strength. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think player zombies can be impaled. Yeah, I didn't think so. The hair just looked really familiar. Um, so we have a 35% base chance on shove crits. And that's how you knock down zombies. So you can see in this little crit hit information window that I have, that's from my mod Trombos Combat Data. It's going to be expanded with more data later. Right now it shows crit hits. So every point in strength gives you plus two on your shove chance, uh, shove crit chance. Default strength is 5, of course. So by default, you have a plus 10 shove chance. Patrick here has no such bonus. So the fact that he's knocking anyone down at all is kind of a miracle. We are very fit, though. So let's run. X03. Okay. Cool. Where are we? Well, I don't actually have a running timer, but... That's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Uh, can I... One, number two, and oh, 
was too slow. Aha! But I'm not too slow. That was just enough rest. Did you see that? I was back to... Can I get in this one? No, it's locked! No, it's locked! Patrick! Patrick, go! Patrick! Oh my god, my voice is getting hoarse. That's how I know it's time. Oh my god, okay. So let's do this. Let's end on this note. Everybody, in the chat... Uh, sorry, in the description on this thing, there's a link to the Discord. Jump into the Discord. Um, next time, I think I'll have the uh, Discord people uh, do some voting on the challenge that I'll do on the Friday game. Um, if something comes up, like I got some travel and stuff, if I'm forgetting and I can't do Friday, I'll try to do Thursday instead. Uh, this is for the dev blog days. So in two weeks time, we'll be back with the stream. Thank you so much. Very generous with the super chats. Really appreciate that as well. And uh, actually, for everyone who's been watching and you're in the Discord as well, it's been awesome getting to know you all in that brand new Discord server. So, Snake! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, this poor guy. All right, have a great night, everyone, or a great morning, wherever you are, whatever time it is, and I will see you next time. Stay safe.